News 4 has been chasing developers of the ultra-exclusive Dallas Key for an official statement on what's really happening on their 560-acre private island since Wednesday of last week. And today, chief developers Dr. Kem Kene and his partner Olga Serum in an exclusive interview with the Sun newspaper confirmed that the project has been put on hold. Last Friday, the majority, if not all employees on the multi-million dollar project were reportedly laid off from managers down to boat captains. The sole partners and directors of Turks Limited, Kane and Serum, are now negotiating a restructuring plan with their funder, Trinidad and Tobago Unit Trust Corporation. The developer said that the project is in the brick of collapse because confidence in it was destroyed by allegations unraveling from the recent British probe and then repeated in its leaked report. Kane said that they could not survive the exposure of these allegations and went on to say, quote, As a result of the negative environment, our sales slowed down considerably and impacted the performance of our receivables and new sales. End quote. According to The Sun, the company had a U.S. $7.1 million repayment to its principal funder, TTUTC, on August 22, 2009. And whilst it could make U.S. $4.175 million of it, it could not pay $2,925,000 since the past six weeks. Kane, on that note, said, quote, We have to date paid all our principal interest to TTUTC, on a timely basis. However, Trinidad and Tobago Unit Trust Corporation has now advised us they will not support a partial release of our funds that will help us while we seek to find additional funding. Furthermore, we asked them to consider an extension of time of 60 days whilst we make efforts to regularize our financial position and provide a credible restructuring plan with new equity partners, Mandarin Oriental Group and the existing purchasers. These requests are currently being considered. The Turkish developer said that he hopes for a favorable solution with the lender as they have invested all their money in the country, which they will continue to protect along with their reputation and the interests of their purchasers who have entrusted them with their investment, whatever the outcome. With the abrupt stoppage, reports indicate that dozens of migrant Turkish workers have been sent back to their homeland. Tons of construction equipment shipped off the project and some of their items, such as boats, have been locally sold. Sources say that their security guards will remain contracted and watch the premises while it's closed. When contacted, senior management official Michelle Newtlings, who was previously responsible for issuing press statements about the project, told News 4 that he was unable to speak on behalf of Dallas Key because he's no longer with the company. Ironically, our investigations over the weekend revealed that at least three high-ranking officials are suddenly no longer associated with the company. There appears to be a cloud of uncertainty surrounding this latest collapsed project as comments from workers continue to be at variance. One worker on the project told News 4, quote, all I have been hearing is rumors, but I have been off the job for about two months now. I was told by my boss that work had slowed down and he would call me when phase two is ready. End quote. Just last month, the company squashed rumors of Dallas Construction Limited, the O Property Collection or OPC, and Turks Limited, the owner of Dallas Key, being near bankruptcy. The reports claimed to be false by Dallas Key implied that their lender, Trinidad and Tobago Unit Trust Corporation, was planning to pull its $62 million loan, plunging the multi-million dollar development into receivership. The unemployment rate once again since the recent shutdown of Nikki Beach could soar. For WIV4 News, I'm Nikira John.